Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing an overview slash review, um, kind of first impressions also, even though I've already handled this knife and used it a little bit. Um, but definitely kind of like a brief overview. If you guys didn't know where this knife came from, yes, it is a Spyderco. Um, but if you've seen my other videos where I have Spydercos on the channel, I currently only own I think one or two spider co's and they're little tiny like the ladybug and do i have a man bug too mm, anyway uh is it called man bug yeah so you guys probably know where this came from if you really don't know check out the um zip ties on the spidey hole now you guys know if you've watched my videos in the past so this is in on loan to me and to the channel i'm pretty excited to get this in now you never know kind of what to expect with spider co at least for me for my personal tastes um but i've really been enjoying this i think this is an awesome knife so a little spoiler alert before we get into all of that please follow me at knife standards you can follow me on instagram and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews all right <clears throat> so we'll get that out of the way and yes i found my tape measure let's go um so this is an interesting knife. This is not something I would ever buy for myself, but I'm pleasantly surprised by it now that I've had a chance to handle it. And, you know, that's something to think about when you're, you know, building your collection or buying a new knife and you might see something and think, oh, by the way, if I didn't say so already, this is the Capara, <laughs> Spyderco Capara. The name always escapes me. Some of the Spyderco names go, you know, right out the window. <clears throat> actually, in, in general, if there's a bunch of names from a certain brand, I get them all confused. Anyway, Spyderco Capara, and apparently <coughs> this is the um, kind of the, the, the latest uh, iteration, latest update, apparently. Um, I don't follow Spyderco that closely, so I don't know. CQI... Apparently this is improved. The action is better than the other Capara. Um, the action is very good on this, so I believe it. Anyway, what I was saying is that if you're building your collection and you see a knife and you think, oh, no, not for me. Sometimes it helps to just buy some things that, or, or get, you know, go on knife swap or get them on the secondary market just to try them out and see, because you might see the knife and think, no, I don't think so. And then actually get it in hand and go, wow, I didn't even know I liked this. You know, I didn't know I liked that funky blade shape or, wow, the action actually really is good. And same thing might happen, you know, on the opposite end where you think, that's the knife for me. I love it. Oh my God. And then you get it and you hate it. That's definitely happened to me a few times. I'm not going to name any names, but um, definitely has happened where I, you know, I kind of hype up the knife uh, either like to myself and I think, oh, that's it. I want that one. Oh man. And then I finally get it in the hand. I'm like, meh. <laughs> um, so that's very possible. But my point is I would definitely encourage you guys to get some things out of your comfort zone. Even if you are sure you're like, I love, I only do frame locks and that's it. I love frame locks. You know, you could try, try a compression lock or try, you know, Try a shark lock. Try something else and you might like it even better or you might enjoy it equally. Open your horizons, you know, open your mind. Anyway, I'm done with my little my little motivational rant there. But the point, um, you know, as it pertains to this knife is <clears throat> I would never buy this. Just the way it looks. Spyderco, which is, Spyderco is great, don't get me wrong, but not really my style. I do love this carbon fiber. But I, you know, even the name Capara, uh, I don't know. It's not not for me. But now that I actually have it in hand and I've had a chance to use it a little bit and carry it a little bit, man, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. And um, maybe I should actually buy a spider call. I had the Shaman in, um, which I liked a lot. I had a couple, I thought, uh, PM2. What was the other one? There's a bigger one and a smaller one. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. I don't follow Spyderco that closely. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some of the specs of this knife and get it measured and the materials and all that. So <clears throat> we have um, a really nice kind of smoothed, almost polished 
um, weave carbon fiber, which I really like. It's incredibly smooth. I love that texture. I love that feel. Looks like we have those T8s, maybe. No, T10. Yeah, it feels like, let's see what it is. Yeah, it feels like T10, okay. And um, I'm assuming these are steel liners. Can't be too sure on that. A full flat grind. Little signature action, I don't know. Probably the designer. Taichung, Taiwan. This is in S30V. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can hear the rain, but it is pouring outside. Got the wire clip. So um, if you guys have not been following my other videos, um, and the other times I've had spider coats on, this knife is uh, loaned in by a really good friend of mine and he puts these zip ties on a lot of his knives. So it acts as like an Emerson wave. <clears throat> so when you pull the knife out of your pocket, it deploys. Anyway, if you, if you were wondering about the zip ties. Um, so we'll go over action in just a second. Um, backspacer looks like a G10 backspacer. Actually really cool. I like that touch of color. Kind of like a dark, dark red, almost Almost maroon-ish. I really like that. You got a lanyard hole, which I don't care for. And then just pinched myself on the compression lock, which I'm definitely not used to yet. Really interesting blade shape. What would you, what would you guys call that? I'm, I'm calling it a, a worn cliff, like a modified worn cliff. But um, I haven't done any research on this knife, by the way. I'm just going in blind. I handled it, carried it a little bit, used it a little bit. Got a text from my friend that explained a little bit more about the knife. Um, but that's 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 the extent of my research. <coughs> some knives I'll research really thoroughly, and then some I just go for it. So you can see there's some milling pockets, some weight reduction on the liners. So that makes me think these are steel liners. Should we measure this guy up? Let's do it. All right, so we got Spider Coat Clara, Quiet Carry. <coughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quiet Carry 9. And we'll go ahead and bust out a knife that I'm really enjoying the Monterey Bay Knives Sea Otter. Get these measured. Sea Otter coming in right about a little bit under three inches on the blade, about 6.75 on the uh, total length. Capara is actually quite quite the large knife, about three and a half on the blade and cutting edge, which is almost the same. There's a lot of cutting edge on this blade, on that <coughs> kind of funky horn cliff. And then, yeah, over eight inches, about eight and a quarter. And then the Quiet Carry 9, got about three and a quarter on the blade, seven and a half overall. So I would definitely consider this on the larger side, I would consider this a large knife, yeah. This is this is a big boy. It's skinny, it's thin, it's light for its size, which I like. Um, you know, a lot of times I will like to feel the knife in my pocket, or I like to feel it in my hand. I kind of like, like enjoy, I enjoy that weight. Um, but it's nice to have something kind of super light for a change. Ooh, that action is great. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I'll do a little slow roll. Feels great. Dropper with the compression lock, middle finger flick. I mean, it's perfect. Feels great on the middle finger flick. The only thing that's <clears throat> is a little bit awkward is kind of how, because of the shape, it's kind of like, almost like the, the, the danger banana shape. Um, it's just a little bit awkward to get at least for my hand to kind of get in position for the middle finger flick. And if you're not positioned correctly, that can happen. But when you're in the right spot, it's great. It just takes a little bit of getting used to, which I'm clearly not used to it yet. See if I'm not in the right spot. But if I kind of get up just a little bit further, boom, perfect. So a little bit of getting used to on that. The closing action is a freaking guillotine. 
smooth slow roll yeah it, it's pretty it's pretty nice pretty satisfying flick open um the shape is just a little bit awkward for my hand <clears throat> as far as ergos go it's pretty good you got the reversible reversible wire clip i like it it's it's interesting it's, it's kind of odd this is kind of an odd knife i wonder i gotta look up the designer um it's comfortable though, I, I like it. You know, the, the zip ties are here, that's fine, but it actually is nice. It kind of gives me some somewhere to put my thumb. There's like a little thumb ramp going on, but um, I'd actually prefer some jimping, maybe even on the liners a little bit, and then going up on the spine. There is this little choil action you can get up on, which I think is great. Feels really nice. Yep, perfect, perfect fit. Plenty of room, full four finger grip. And again, you can kind of do this control to close if you want. So you kind of let it go and then shake shut. Or you can just let it let it go. Pretty nice. I'm digging this knife. I think this is a cool spider co. Am I gonna go out and buy one? No, I don't think so. I feel like the shaman was. I feel like the shaman in the I forget the PM2 or PM3 or whatever it was. There was one of them I liked more, but this was quite a while now. Quite quite a while ago now. Um, but it would either be <clears throat> my top spider coast, although I do really like the ladybug. It would either be the shaman or uh, either PM2 or PM3. Uh, paramilitary 3? One of them's bigger, one of them's smaller. Anyway, I forget which one I liked better. <clears throat> but one of them was really just, yeah, I'll, I'll go back and find the video. Um, but one of them was really smooth and comfortable. I'm sure my friend will, will tell me which, which one I enjoyed more. He remembers. Um, but anyway, I think this is an awesome knife. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, I think that I will carry this for the rest of today and then it will head back to my friend. And, um, his collection is getting pretty serious now. I feel like um, it's it's getting up there. I remember when it was only a few knives, maybe even one or two, and then he got you know his first quote unquote like expensive knife, like the next tier, that next level knife, and then another one, and then all of a sudden, you know, he sends me a picture of his whole Spyderco collection. He's got all these Benchmades and Spydercos, and that. anyway, he's starting to start, starting to ramp it up, step it up. So that's very cool to see. Um, Hopefully I've uh, influenced or encouraged that um, just a little bit. I think collecting is a really fun part. Using collecting, being an enthusiast, um, doing some mods. He did a crazy mod on his, uh, it was actually the Shaman that I bought, the M4 Shaman that um, I sold to him and now he has the shaman loves it and did some crazy stuff to the scales maybe i'll get get that one back in for a full review it looks sick i keep telling him he should um you know start doing more mods and you know actually <laughs> show show off his work because he doesn't does some really cool work anyway that's about it spider co capara cqi action is smooth Assuming these are on, this is on washers. Is it? Looks like washers to me. Um, I'm really enjoying washers lately. Big part, um, you know, in, in part from the uh, Sea Otter. Really enjoying washers. Super snappy and smooth. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um, Spider Kokopara, thank you for watching. This has been Knife Standards. The RR Station pre-order is still going strong. Check that out at knifestandards.com. I'll catch you guys later.